A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Welcome back to Galaxy Playgrounds. In the previous video, Roderick was named as the new Lord of Iron Wrath. In King's Landing, Mira feels desperate to help her family whatever she can. What should Mira do? Is she willing to risk everything? Let's find out. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Find another spot. Or find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger is bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. To defend but this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Wow. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. <laughs> potatoes? <laughs> potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Who in seven hells? Cuttle! Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Jen Snow. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. What's your problem? No! <laughs> Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Again. <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. Your new home. What's up, horsey? <laughs> he feels cold. 
Now, let's look around. Let's go upstairs and check Jan's nose. He left. Why? That's the door to the mess hall. Wish they'd serve up more than stew. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? <laughs> no, sir. Didn't think so. This now, the if track. there's nothing else you need... I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tuttle. Worry about me, not your vows. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. Let's look around a little bit more. Place is falling apart. Maybe they need more builders. What's up, Eric? Eric? Why is he here instead of an Iron Wrath? <laughs> so this is the guy who stole the Iron Wrath. Eric? You're the Castellan's nephew. What are you doing here? Lord Ethan judged me a thief. Should have taken my fingers. Instead, he sent me to the wall. I wish he had cut him off. If he had, I'd still be home with my family. Instead, I'm stuck here for life. You'd rather your hands didn't work. That's mad. But it'd be over and done with. Fucking foresters. It's your fault, not mine. Gawking, Tuttle! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Yes, I right. can. I can do this. <clears throat> Want some help? <laughs> you again? Uh, 
Don't hurt yourself, Tucker. Uh. No coin. Uh. Uh. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. What the hell? If the thing isn't frozen off. No. I'll be a ranger. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Again. Gotta be faster. They say it's seven hundred feet tall and eight thousand years old. It's not iron wood. Too hard to burn. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these where I. Oh! <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets, I tell you. Wildling to. arse. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Oh no. You can follow orders at least. <laughs> Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Chest again. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Yeah. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. You got it? Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. <laughs> Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Hmm, I don't know what to say. He looks disappointed. Practice sword. This I'm one should do. This red sword. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Yeah. Well fought. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? 
Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Just calm, calm down, down! Calm down! Fight! Oh. Oh. I won't say it again. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? Hey, hey, hey! Oh. Stop it! Hey, look! Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Uh. Punch him in the face! Yeah! One more! One more! Another! Yeah! Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Kara defended him! The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. Huh. And you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you, come with me. Yes, sir. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You stole it. Where did you get Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Sorry, I refuse. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... If Cersei caught you with her wine, you're dead. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but... Okay. I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. What? I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But 
but always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Yeah, and you just talking about marriage. While her family is You sure you won't have dying. any? You look like you could use a drink. Oh, it's Tyrion. Hmm, a conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? Oh, if you no. mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Yeah, you can't lie with Tyrion. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. What? I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. <laughs> she keeps on drinking that wine. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Ha <laughs> ha. Mira Forrester? Yes. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. 
Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, and... Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Get out. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. No! You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. What are you gonna do? I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Subscribe on my channel for more gaming videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. See you again next time.